Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from September of 2019. Let's start off with books and magazines. A real dry month. All I got was one addition to my Charlie Brown book collection. Have no fears, Snoopy. Ugh! All right then, let's move on to the category of miscellaneous. I got a Space Jam magnet, a London phone box keychain, and a 1985 Junior Olympic softball patch. You're out! I got a San Francisco Demon sticker, some 1998 Jeff Gordon stickers, and a vintage 1983 sheet of rub-off transfers, plus a huge pile of postage stamps from all over the world for my stamp collection, and a slide showing the snow on St. Lawrence Island. Plus, I got a bunch of old photos of somebody's monkey. Maybe this was the last photo of it. I got an old Fizz Whiz bottle cap from AP Green Refractories, and I got this wooden nickel from Wendy's. Good for a free Biggie Fries! Damn! Check this out. A whole stack of vintage Smokey the Bear paper drink coasters. That's rare. And I got this pin. I'd rather be bowling. I got a Foodland pen. Most of those stores are gone. A Hills bookmark. Those stores are long gone. And I found a AAA battery from Farmore, another long gone store, but this battery still works. <gasps> Here's a ticket to a 2015 pirate game, and this ticket stub is from a Pink Floyd concert in 1988. Here's one from Paul McCartney's World Tour stop at the Civic Arena in 1990. And check this out, it's from the October 28th, 1991 Rush concert. Man, I never got to see them live. Aww. Found a couple old 50 cent passes for the Delaware River Toll Bridge, and five dollar bills from Barbie and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think the exchange rate's better on this one. Cowabunga! I got an old pad of Garfield catnap stationery. All that paper and they wrote their shopping list on the cover. Here's the QVC schedule from May of 1999, and I got some old newspapers. The National Insider from 1970. Headlines include doped candy turns kids on and mouthwashes that kill. <coughs> also from 1970, I got the National Tattler. Wear a maxi and count your blessings. It keeps you warm and keeps men guessing. Ooh. How kinky. And finally, the September 28th, 1964 edition of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette with the headline, Warren Commission Terms Oswald Ruby Lone Killers. Time to check out this month's audio scores. Got one CD, Johnny Cash's The Christmas Spirit. And I got one cassette, Hart's Little Queen. I also got two vinyl LPs, Robert Plant's The Principle of Moments, and The Best of Joe Walsh. Not too much there, so we'll move on from audio to video. Another 28 DVDs. TV stuff. I got Cheers Season 2, Season 9, and the final season. Happy Holidays with Bing and Frank, The Big Valley Season 1, Disc 5 only, Lonesome Dove, The Super Mario Brothers Super Show, and Orange is the New Black Season 1. 80s stuff. I got Chariots of Fire, Izzy and Moe, and Top Gun. Comedies. I got Tropic Thunder, Driving Lessons, American Reunion, and Meet the Spartans. Horror movies. I got Lights Out and Nightmare Man. Action movies. I got Next, A History of Violence, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and 10,000 BC. Plus I got The Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus, Midnight Cowboy, Radio Flyer, Newsies, Reservoir Dogs, and Phone Booth. And I got Predator 2 on Blu-ray. And that brings us to our final category, Toys and Games. I got some video games. For Nintendo DS, I got Legend of K. For Xbox, I got The Incredibles and The Haunted Mansion. And for PlayStation 2, I got Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Finding Nemo. You're gonna need a bigger boat. 
I got a cassette for my 2XL toy. Trivia time. Let's fire up the 2XL and see what he says. A teacher says to her class, isn't it wonderful how a little chick gets out of an egg? And one boy stands up and says, you think that's good? Imagine how hard it was to get in. <laughs> Check it out, I finally found a 1982 Alexander's Star Puzzle. I'm not even going to bother wasting my time trying to solve this. And I found this tiny little Duncan Butterfly Yo-Yo. That is wild. I got five Pokemon cards, one Magic card, a 1999 Tarzan Magic movie card from Kid Cuisine, one Diamond King puzzle card, one My Little Pony card, one The 39 Clues card, two 1994 Power Rangers cards, four Upper Deck Hello Kitty cards, and 26 1994 Fleer X-Men cards. And I found three Pogs, talking about my generation. Here's something I've always wanted since I was a kid. A duck from a carnival duck pond. Plus I got a homie, three domos, three mighty beans, four bok choy boys, a dino, a Fisher Price little person, and another monkey throwing up the devil horns. Check this out. A quiz kid made by National Semiconductor in 1975. This was something I always saw in department store catalogs as a kid, but I never had one until now. And now it's time for the find of the month. I still can't believe it. It's a Yamaha SHS-10 Kitar from 1987. I never saw one of these at the thrift store before. It's MIDI enabled and it even has a little pitch wheel. And anyone who ever had one of these probably remembers the demo. Kitar cost me $8.55 with tax. I still got everything that you saw in this video for about $18. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from September of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.